Hi, everybody. It's Ask Dr. Lori. I'm Dr. Lori. Ask Dr. Lori Live. That's right. Everything's unscripted. I'm going to show you how to tell so you can make money reselling or building your own collection to build a beautiful collection for yourself. My guests are here from all over the world. As I said, everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming. They're going to hold up their objects, show me what they've got. Make sure that there are good connections, nice and strong connections so we can see everything well. Hold your cameras horizontally for me, please, and let's see what you've got. Let's start with this Millefiori piece. It's a Millefiori. It looks like a nice bulbous vase. It's just rim brimming with color. There you go. Right there in the upper uh, corner. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Dr. Lori. My name is Kim, and I'm calling from Indianapolis. Nice to see you, Kim. So tell me, how did you acquire this? I actually bought this about 20 plus years ago as oh, a wow. gift for my mother for Christmas. Oh, well, that's nice. Did she love it? She loved it. I loved yeah. it. She has since passed away and oh. I've got the, the container back. You got it back. So um, do you remember what you paid or no? Was this is so long ago. It was so long ago. I have no idea. So do you know that it's Murano or Italian glass? It is. It looks like uh, Milano, but it, I don't find any sort of signature or mark on it at all. Okay. There's a couple of different things that indicate uh, a Murano piece, right? So one of the indicators or what to look for is this nice, bright colored rods. Those rods have many, many different colors. The more colors, the millefiore or the, of course, the thousand flowers that's very, very uh, popular and well-known and characteristic of the Venetian, of course, uh, glass furnaces. So it's really a very nice piece. I like that it's squat. I like that it's curved. Yes. Uh, I like all of the bulbous nature to it. Now on the inside, is it sort, can you show me the underside? What am I looking for? If you're wondering what I'm looking for, you see how it's sort of pushed in Correct. as if all the pieces kind of go in. So there's actually a little bit of a a rise, almost a mountain on the inside. Uh -huh. That's also indicative usually of Venetian glass. Typically it's indicative of Venetian glass from about 1965 to about 1980 or so. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's the time period when you, probably the time period when you bought it, maybe you bought it after that time period. Is that the right. case? Probably in the eighties. In the eighties you bought it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Um, I would say, you know, it reminds me of the pieces that you'd see on all the shelves when you're at Murano, all the shelves of all of the pieces of Millefiore that you can choose from. It's like, you can't decide which one you want because you want them all. It's like that value on your piece, about $150 in that condition, because it has some age. It's very, very beautiful documented piece. It's obviously Murano. It's based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. So, okay. you know, if you're in these Facebook groups or you're with folks who are saying this number and that number, it has to be based on actual sales records where similar pieces sold, not just if someone's not willing to pay for it. That's mm -hmm. not an appraisal. An appraisal is somebody who paid the bill, who was willing to pay. So mm -hmm. that's basically what you're looking at. That's really very beautiful. Hey, now, Kim, tell me from Indianapolis, will you um, answer my question of the day? Sure. My question of the day is about Chinese food. And I would include uh, Asian food uh, like sushi in this. Do you use chopsticks or do you use a fork? I use a fork. So do I. So do I. <laughs> I, I don't even. I'm not the good chopsticks. with them. I'm yeah. a good crocheter. I like to knit and I like to crochet. I can do that with my fingers, but those chopsticks are hard for me. No, I want to eat. I want to eat. <laughs> so we're yep. very Western in that, I guess, you and I, Kim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. My pleasure. I always want to show you what to tell and how to tell so you know what to look for and how to tell. It's a lot about that. I really appreciate when you support the channel, when you show ways to support the channel, whether that's Super Chats and Super Stickers, or if you share the channel and watch the videos. My videos are chock full of information. Done. They are. You have to share them. And people do tell me I watch over and over or I rewatch or I notice something that I didn't notice before. Then I ask a question in the comments. So I'll get back to you. But I really want you to share and I really want you to watch. Thanks for the super chats and super stickers, too. Oh, there we go. See, they're going to get me with the love of dogs, but she's not horizontal. So you've got to be horizontal. Make the camera horizontal. And then I probably might. I don't know. The dogs are going to get me. I know it. Let's talk about this brooch. Is this a brooch? What is this brooch with the light? There's a light and a brooch and, oh, a light and a brooch and Mary from Michigan. How are you? <laughs> oh, no, no audio. You got audio. Sorry, I had you on mute. 
It's okay. <laughs> you had me on mute. You probably could still hear well, me. Not you on mute. I had me on mute. I have dogs. <laughs> Three of them. That's okay. It's nice to see you. So tell me, tell me about this. This is nice. This is a Kenneth J. Lane. I picked it up on Goodwill. It was just beautiful, breathtaking. And how, so you got it on like uh, shopgoodwill.com? Correct. Okay. How much was it with shipping? Oh, about $42. It was so gorgeous. I couldn't resist it. Wow. So get it up to the camera so we can all see. We want to like see and be like luscious and drool and let's see. I like the white gloves. I like the black background. I like the whole deal here. I'm going to ask you to put the black background back, I think, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Thanks, hon. Okay. And yeah, Is right about there. That looks good. Yeah. Wow. It's really nice. Here's what's nice about it, right? First of all, it's Kenneth J. Lane. Look for the brands. I tell you which brands. I show you a list of them. I show you what to look for, which brands are better. I've noted them here. And I'll continue to note them so you know what to do. Some of you are telling me you know what we're doing, Dr. Lurie. When you say a brand that you like, we're writing it down and we're going over. And when we go thrifting or we go on to the online, uh, online sites, we make sure that we look for those particular brand names and costume jewelry. Kenneth J. Lane is one of those costume jewelry names that I would look for. Now, on the back of it, I like the detail. Here's a couple of things I like before she goes to the back. I'm talking fast. But one of the things that I like about that is I like for you to look for that nice central motif, right? So usually it's a large rhinestone or a large, clear, faceted stone. And then all of the smaller elements that are symmetrical. Symmetry, right? When something is symmetrical, you know, it's going to actually increase the interest because it looks like it's balanced. People like that. Do you think it's balanced, Christy? How are you doing, Christy? We brought you in. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? It's good to see you. So do you like this piece of costume jewelry? Because, Christy, you've been known to find some good things in Goodwill blue boxes, right? Yes. Yes. What yes. do you think of this piece? Would you pay 42 bucks for it? Um, yeah, I think I would. Yeah, I think I would too. So you got it for 42 with shipping. So maybe it would cost somewhere in the in the high 30s. Thanks, Christy. Um, I would say value on that piece in today's market, easily 175. Nice. I think you easily could get 175 based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. And they're selling on all different places. It's not only eBay, it's not only Etsy, but you've got, you know, Shop Thrilling and you've got, of course, Ruby Lane and you've got, you've got lots of places, Poshmark. You've got a lot of places where costume jewelry is really coming in. The other thing about costume jewelry is, remember, there are many people who are thinking, you know what? Sometimes these pieces are more statement pieces because it's very expensive. If you were getting all those as real gemstones, that's going to be an expensive brooch. I think you did great. Can I see the back of it? You Just can. so we can see what's what. Okay. <laughs> So when you look at the back and you can see the golden color of those stones a little bit better, uh, you're able to see, of course, the Kenneth J. Lane mark or signature or stamp, if you will. That's going to be important, too. And, of course, like many of the costume jewelry designers, they change their mark during their career time or during you know, their production time. So sometimes it's KJL. Sometimes it says Kenneth J. Lane you know, and, and the like. That will help you to date the piece, too. What do you think, Mary? Good? I think it's great. And I just picked up six or eight more pieces at an auction yesterday that I'm waiting to get shipped to me. All right. Well, so I, hope you, Kenneth J. Lane. I hope you enjoy those too. I remember, you know, the good designers have good design. There's a reason for yep. it. There's a reason for it. And uh, again, what to look for. Stay right here. My question of the day is about Chinese food. Do you use the chopsticks or do you use a fork? Chopsticks all the way. Chopstick all the way. What did you do today, Mary? What did I do today? Yeah, were you looking for pieces? Were you were you searching? Were you doing sourcing? Or were you doing selling? Or were you listing stuff? What did you do today? No, this listing was yesterday. Today I've got like uh, five up on the website for after you're done. They should come up for auction that I'm going to bid on. So oh, okay, today I was kind of a half off day. I took the day off. I spent my day with a heating pad because I have I have swimmers or frozen shoulder. It's not moving. You know, you wake up and you're getting old and you're kind of like, this is not moving. <laughs> So that's what I did. So I used the, the heating pad today and I had a podcast. Actually, I was an interviewed on a podcast. You don't need your shoulders for a podcast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Mary. Take good, good care. Good to see you too. Thank Go you. Go blue, baby. <laughs> Go blue. Michigan. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I did. I don't know what I did, but I woke up and it doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> so but the podcast was a lot of fun. And uh, when, of course, it uh, when the podcast drops, you'll be able to, of course, uh, 
hear about a lot of things that you probably don't know about me. So uh, good interviewers are able to get good information out of uh, folks like me. So my guests are here. Let's see what they've got. Oh, let's see what they've got. Okay. We've got some big smiles. I love the big smiles. Look at the big smiles. Let's see what this airplane is all about. <laughs> Hi, what's your name, hon? I'm Sabrina White. I'm so excited. Hi, Sabrina. I'm excited too. Where are you living? Where are you calling me from or, or streaming me with from? Dur Durham, North Carolina. Hey, Durham, North Carolina. Research Triangle, right? Is that Research yes. Triangle? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. University of North Carolina. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> so how did you uh, acquire this and what have you got? I got these. One I object, baby. Oh, now you're so one object. Don't get me crazy now. Sorry. <laughs> I got, I knew, I just discovered you a few days ago and I have been, I've subscribed, I've been binge watching you. Thank so, you. Have you, shared, have you shared, have you signed up for the newsletter? I, I did, I did, yes. Okay. And I ordered a loop. I mean, I've, I've seriously watched about 15 of your videos like in the last well, two days. Well, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, so you'll get more. But I'm glad yeah. that you signed up for the newsletter. I hope you all sign up for the newsletter. It is free. It'll come right to your email inbox. It's very simple. All you have to do is go to uh, my website at drlaurieV.com and go down to free where it says thumbs up because we all love free. And of course, put in your email address and we'll send it whenever we do the newsletter. We send it out. It's relatively frequent, I have to say. Okay, back to you. Remind me of your name again. Sabrina. I'm sorry, Sabrina. Okay, go ahead. How, how'd you acquire this? I like this, the Air Force. A yard sale for $2. Nice. Very nice for $2. My gosh, you guys are giving away the farm and the and on the yards at the yard sales, the flea markets and such. Is it marked Mark's Toys? Um, it would be a circle, and it would say M A R, and then the X goes through the whole circle. Anywhere is it marked? I don't see a mark. Oh, okay, there's usually, a Y on it. There's a marking. Uh, oh, where's my video? Yeah, no, that's not the mark we're looking for. Okay. All right. So um, now this piece looks like it's in good shape. Does it wind? It, it's a, a friction one. So when you, when you. Okay. So when it, you move it, it goes. The propellers move. Cool. That's cool. It's very nicely made. Lithograph tin. Very good in terms of the coloration. You still have the, the actual U.S. Air Force sort of symbols and, and such. Uh, not decals, and that's important too. I like that piece to the tune of about 80 bucks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. These are metal, and they're kind of rusted, and it is missing one. Okay, so it's missing one. I think I'd still be around 80 bucks, I have to say, um, because I, I thought maybe that's what you had in your other hand when you were holding the other thing. I thought you had the other propeller, oh. but you don't. Okay, that's yeah. fine. I'd say about $80 on the vintage toy market. And remember, you know, toys are an emotional market. So a lot of people like to retrade toys. Do you do you collect toys or was it just this opportunity at the yard sale at this particular No, I, I have four kiddos and my six-year-old saw them and he's like, cool, airplanes. He played with them for a bit. Then they went into storage and we just cleaned out and I rediscovered them. And I said, oh, this cool. probably is worth more than $2. Yeah, <laughs> worth more than $2. And it's good that they wanted to play with them. They had some interest. And then kids have interest in all different things and they change, you know, so you can understand why you said, okay, I'm sick of that now. You know how that is. My question of the day for you, Sabrina, if you'd, be, if you'd indulge me so, Chinese food or do you use chopsticks or a fork? I use chopsticks for about the first minute and then I switch over to a fork for the rest. <laughs> I try. So what, what's, your, what's your trick? Like, is it like you put one finger in between? What's your trick with the chopsticks? Yeah, I think I just... I, I don't know. I, I think even, I do it different I, every time. Because <laughs> I can't even stand them for a minute. Like I, I got, I have to give, because I was in Japan. It was beautiful, wonderful people, warm and lovely people. Very nice. People would spend a lot of time because you know how I am. I'm sitting at your, I'm like, can you help me? And they'd talk to me and, you know, but I couldn't get the hang of it. I couldn't get the hang of it. <laughs> it takes practice for sure. <laughs> I guess so. Nice to see you. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm glad that the kids wanted to look at the ant, at the vintage toy and play with it for a while. But, you know, if your kids want to do that, uh, you want to just be careful, of course, of that. Um, you want to be careful of that. Oh, thank you for the prayers. I'll take prayers all the time. I love prayers. <laughs> so that's fine. I hope the shoulder moves. I don't know. My guests are here and I'm happy to be them and make all the pain go away. Right. All you guys are uh, make me feel good. It's nice to see all of you. Let's see. What is this? Um, hmm. Well, let's look at this this um, piece that is sort of swirled glass. Don't we like that? I like that. 
I'm Dr. Hi, Lori. Hi. I'm Barb from Louisville, Kentucky. Hi, Barb. How are things in Louisville? That's great right now. Yeah. I know yeah. how to say it. You know, I've appeared in Louisville many times. <laughs> Good. It's a fun place. It's a fun place. So yeah. how did you acquire this? I like this. I was just shopping at Goodwill a couple days ago oh. and it stood out among the vases. And I'm okay. like, what is this? And it's so heavy, it's very heavy. What made it stand out to you? The color, I think, just the, the color. Mm -hmm. The fact that you had a lot of different colors or the fact that it swirled like that or the, the body, the base of the it? The swirl, the swirl got me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it marked in any way? Who's this? This might be Debbie from Ohio. Is this Debbie yeah. from Ohio? Yes, ma'am. How are you, babe? This is Barb. Hi, Hi Barb. Hey. Would you buy this at the thrift store? Oh, this? Yes. No. Would you buy her 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 piece, her vase? Yes. If you saw it, you would, right? Because you think well, as long as long as the price was right. Okay, what would be the right price for you? Six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Okay, you're not going ten bucks on it, right? Probably not. <laughs> Okay, it was nine ninety nine. It was nine ninety nine. What'd you pay? Nine ninety nine. You pay you know, so you pay ten bucks. Yeah. I'm I'm still happy at ten bucks. I gotta say, <laughs> bye, Deb. I gotta say that I'm still happy at ten bucks. I like ten bucks for this. I think it's nice. Let me see the underside. Here's what I like. I like multiple swirls. I like that nice straight flat underside. I like that mm -hmm. too. I like the fact that it's cased, so you have certain types of, of colored rods inside. I like, I would like it to be a little bit bigger at the top, mm -hmm. you know, it goes very, so you can only get a couple of flowers in it and really, it's yeah, not intended, it, yeah, you're not really intended for flowers. It's really <laughs> intended for, as my mother would say, for nice. It sits up there and nothing goes in it, you know, look at it. Mm -hmm. I would say value on that piece easily $95. Great. Thank you. For 10 bucks, you know, you made nine times. I think that's great. Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. Anytime you're looking at glass, if you look for color and you look for cased glass, size and weight will always be important. And I like okay. the way that thing stands. That has a nice form too. Barb, that's cool from Thank Louisville. You. Hey, Thank I got you. a question for you. Were you were will your family like that piece? Or will they say, Mom, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's kind of like 80s. It looks like 80s to me. Yeah, it's probably 80s. I don't think it's 60s. I think it's probably 80s. But, yeah. you know, the 80s are cool. You know, the 80s are cool. <laughs> uh, Chinese food, chopsticks or a fork? Fork, for sure. Do you like uh, broccoli and chicken and broccoli? I love chicken oh, and broccoli. I love that. I love, love that. It, yes. I knew, I knew you were a chicken and broccoli girl. I could tell. <laughs> You're right. Nice Thanks. to see you. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I've had my share of chicken and broccoli. That's right. I like general sows, too. I like that, too. Anyway, you don't care what I like. Oh, my guests are here. Let's see what they've got. And again, don't forget about video calls. They're very easy, of course, to book a video call with me. If you don't want to do this, if you don't want to do it in front of everybody public, you can have a private video call with me. You go to my my website. You go to drlaurieb.com. You can click on the specials and shop page and you can book a long video call there if you like, or short video calls too. And you just pick the date in my schedule when it suits you. So if you like a weekend or you like a weekday, whatever it is, it's easy to book them uh, as well. You can do that. It's not hard and it's a lot of fun. People enjoy them and I enjoy them too. It's always good to talk with all of you. All right, let's see what we've got. What have we got? Well, we've got a camera that's not horizontal, so you got to fix that horizontal camera. What has Deb got in terms of jewelry? Let's take a look at this necklace. Hi, Deb. I know you're from Ohio because yes. we've met at many of my public events in Ohio in that area. Yes. You and Eric are drivers. You know, we've been in Dayton and we've been to Pittsburgh. And you've been all over the place. So, and I know Pittsburgh is not Ohio. I'm going to get the comments. Pittsburgh is not Ohio. I know, but she drove there. You know, it's near Ohio. Anyway, Deb, what are you doing? And why are you in the bathroom? <laughs> Um, I got her in a good little blue box. Oh. She is Mark Dior on one of the links. Isn't it funny how we refer to jewelry as girls? Like yes. we do boats and cars. I always think that's funny. But I do that too. I'll say, oh, she's this or she's that. I do that. So she's okay. beautiful. <laughs> I think she's beautiful too. Um, so I like, of course, the multiple links. It's a very classic look. A very classic look. It's really nice. Um, it's not unlike some of the pieces that are here. Um, it, you know, we'll see a lot of the uh, 
Yves Saint Laurent, the Givenchy's, the, um, uh, let me think, the Dior's, the Christian Dior's. And there's actually a very good book on the biography of Christian Dior too, if you have a chance to look that up. I was reading that a couple of weeks ago. So on which, where is the Dior mark? That's my first it question. It is on one link next to the class. Next it's to the class. Okay. A link in here. And I'm sure you've compared it to see whether or not it is the, the authentic Dior link because you know there are fakes out there. Yes. The only one I could find is the new website. Okay. They have so, that new so that so basically you want to make sure that you're looking at those particular comparisons, but you have to make sure that your source on these websites is a good source. Okay. So when you're looking for Dior, there are a lot of different ones. There's, this, there's the CH with the D, there's right. the CHR, there's a lot of different ones. And I talk about them on my website. If you go to the research tab on drlaurieV.com, it'll say research and you can just put in, or you can just put in, uh, you can just put in the uh, little magnifying glass, which is the search on my website. You can just put in Christian Dior and all the articles that I've written and all the videos on Christian Dior, including this one will actually come up. So how much did you pay? You said you paid six ninety nine. No, it was in a Goodwill blue box. Oh, I'm sorry, you said that. I apologize. Other things. <laughs> so it's in a thirty nine ninety nine six p.m. You got it Friday. You got to click fast yes. blue box, and you got yes. it. So you've got other things with it, right? Yes. All right. So would you buy this necklace? Is this on you? Yes, it is. Would I... you buy? Would you buy this necklace, honey? That Debbie's showing us now. Yes, that is you... beautiful. I think that's beautiful too. And of course, it looks like it's reading as gold plated, yes. right? Yes. And it looks like it's very high quality. Now, would you wear it? Or I thought about it. it. Oh, her. You'd I wear would. it too? I got to tell you, I'd wear it. I'd put it around my neck. I don't think I'd resell this one. What's it worth? About $325. That's what nice. it's worth. That's nice. nice. For, I got you know, earrings to go kind of go with it too. I found it. I found a set of earrings in my mom's stuff. So that go Come with on. it. Yes. Wear it yourself. Keep it yourself. You know what I always say? Treat yourself. <laughs> Treat yourself. You I have it. some of my silver pieces for myself that I found in the box. <laughs> yeah, that's a wonderful blue box. The blue boxes are like my. They're like my loop. They're a money magnet. They really are. There's a lot of good stuff in those in those Goodwill blue boxes and a lot of good stuff everywhere in the thrift stores. You know what to look for. When yes. you look for a piece of Christian Dior, I want you to look for the correct um, mark, right? What to look for because a lot of the marks are faked, especially with the Yves Saint Laurent, the Dior, the Givenchy. Be careful. The other thing I want you to look for are classic styles because that's where the value goes up. When they're trying something new, sure, it's still Christian Dior. It has some value. But these classic styles of multiple links or a nice rope chain and something thick and weighty because Christian Dior is known for thick and weighty like Chanel. Nice. Right. I like it a lot. Uh, my question of the day for you, sweetie, is Chinese food, chopsticks or a fork? If I'm out in public, I'm using a fork because I'm not dropping all that food on myself. <laughs> At home, I will use chopsticks. I will try. Uh, you all try. I have tried to. I also, I, a lot of food ends up here, which I don't like because <laughs> right. you know, you're thin. You're thin. I'm not. But I, it always ends up here. So I don't like to kind of manipulate too much. But I also we have, really, we have to try to be a little bit better with the culture. You know, we should really try it more. If we're going to, you know, eat Asian food, we should try to try to be more Eastern cultured. Well, I have you on here. I wanted to let you know the last piece that I showed you for the um, Art Nouveau yeah. picture, she sold for $350. Wonderful. Terrific. So yep. you did very well. You yep. happy? Yes, definitely. I uh, wouldn't have we... known what to start at. So, Well, there you go. So I helped yeah. you to know what to start it at. And yes. you sold it for three fifty. dollars Good for you. Yep. You know, I do this because I want you all to succeed. There are other people who say they want you, to want you to succeed. I want you to succeed. That's why I'm showing you what to look for because that's how yes. you'll succeed. And I'm Thank giving you the tools to do it. You know, things like, of course, the loop and the diamond tester and the presidium gem tester. All these things are the tools that are going to help you to, of course, resell with confidence. That's great. I do get compensation when you purchase from drlaurieV.com. It's good to see you, Deb. Good Let's to see, see what you else too. we've got. Bye. Have a wonderful day. See ya. Good for her. So see, she sold that piece. Based on actual sales records, when you have the right information from me, you're going to be able to resell these pieces. I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Caroline, thank you for buying the loop. And here's why I want to thank you. It helps me to, of course, make more videos for all of you. I'm trying to make more and more and more for all of you. How do you get to these 
to the um, recommended products, my specials and shop page. Just go to the specials and shop, click on it on the website, drlaurieview.com, scroll down, it'll say go shopping now. And then basically you can click on that, it will take you to the page and then you can choose what you like and get one of my recommended products. You know, this is years and years of being in museums and being an appraiser and knowing what to use. The tools for the treasure hunt are what you need. And I want you to use the right tool so it's easy for you. Great, great, great. Oh, not a lot of light there. You guys might have to turn on another light for me. Let's see, what have we got? Let's take a look at um, let's take a look at, at this piece. It's a bracelet. Can we look at that? Hi, Christy. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, we all should know what this is. Is this piece marked? It does say Cartier. Wow, isn't that nice? Well, I'm trying to figure out if it's real or not. Are you, are you skeptical? I am, and only because of where the it opens. Show me where it opens. Can you open it for me? It actually didn't come with... Uh, um, it didn't come with it? No, because it came in the Goodwill blue, blue box. Okay. I don't think it's the real deal. Okay. And the reason why I don't think it's the real deal is exactly what you said. First of all, where it's open and it's marked. Can you show me the mark? I don't know if we'll be able to see the mark. See what we can do here. I like your setup better. You're in a lot of better light today. I tried for yeah, you. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. No, that's a knockoff. It's a good knockoff. It has some value. So you got it in a blue box. Yep. Uh, so you had to pay the $39.99 at the time of this taping. Everybody's going, at the time of this taping. Okay. And all the values, of course, are based on the time of the taping, too. But uh, based on actual sales records, you probably could command, I would say, maybe 100 bucks on it, even though it's a knockoff. Uh, the real Cartier, babe, we'd be talking big numbers. <laughs> yeah, when I looked it up, I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you'd be talking big numbers. Yeah. Um, I don't think so in that particular case. I also will tell you that if you if you hold it like this for me, up. Uh, yeah. Do you see how it's a little bit more oval than it is round? It's just a tad too oval. Now, I know uh, you're going a tad too oval. You know, I evaluate 50,000 objects a year and I have since 1998. A lot of objects. Well, recent years, it's been like 50,000 objects. Prior to that, it's been like 20,000 objects every year. So when I say something's a little too oval, I am picky and these eyes are pretty educated. I know what I'm looking for. But they're a, it's just a little tad too oval. They're typically oval, these Cartier bracelets. They are more oval than they are specifically circular or round. This one's a little too oval. It's a little too extended. I don't think so. I wish it were, though. But uh, you know what? We found other good things in the blue box. In this I case, a hundred. Yeah, a hundred's not bad for it because okay. it's a good. It's a good knockoff. The only thing I would say is, you know, if you don't have it authenticated, you know, you don't have it in that way, then you have to basically say, I can't say that it is. If you're going to resell it, I can't. You can't say that it is a Cartier. So right. be careful. You know, exactly. it's always better to give all the information to the potential buyer. Then you don't have problems on the other end. Yep. I think it yeah. is too good to be true, but. And hey. lots of photographs are always good as well. You know, lots of photographs will always help too. Yep. You know, what you do, do you, reselling tips are lots of photographs. Make sure that you're specific, right? Um, I also like that it's nice and clear. I like those photographs to be clear and close up you know, as well as one that's in situ. So one on your wrist, I like an in situ, that's basically called in sight, you know, uh, one on your wrist. So people go, oh, that's how it's going to look on my wrist, you know, kind of thing. Um, I also like reselling tips of giving as much information as you possibly can. What'd you do today? Were you working today and you're just talking with us? I was working. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like this. That's going to help you. And again, the blue boxes, I think will help you too. Chinese food, chopsticks or the old fashioned Western fork? The fork. I know we're all like so this. basic. <laughs> yeah, basic. But we all I like Asian. I like Chinese food. I even like sushi. I have mm. to say, I, you don't eat sushi. No, I'm picky. Very yeah, picky. people are picky. I like sushi. I don't like that wasabi. I did that once. It's so pretty wasabi. That color is so pretty. I was like, I thought I ate the sun. Oh, my gosh. That stuff's so hot. <laughs> That was hot. But uh, that I won't forget. I was on a cruise. I'll never forget it. I was like, oh, my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> but anyway, good to see you, sweetheart. Keep it up. You'll find more. You too. Thank you. Sure. And those of you who are not on and you want to send me a picture of something that you have a question on, you can do that at drlaurieview.com too. You can send it to drlaurieview.com. Hit find values. 
And then when you go to find values, you'll see send a photo. Click on that, attach the photo, fill out the form. I'll take a look at it. If it's not worth the value of the appraisal, the price of the appraisal, I'll tell you that for free. I'll make sure that you know what you have if it's valuable. So great. Good to see all of you. Let's see what we've got. Guests galore. Guests galore tonight. <laughs> all right. right. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this figurine here. It's the two, it's the man and the woman. Can we look at that? All right. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi. Good, how name? are you? Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Where are you calling from? From Reno, Nevada. Hey, Reno. So what's happening? The gambling capital, right? One of the gambling capitals along with Vegas. Yes. So how did you acquire this? An estate auction for $7.50. Oh, my. Can you back up some? Just so I can see and hold it up. Just go like this a bit. There you go. So we can see the bottom of it. Well, that's a very nice Rococo revival piece. It's looking like the 18th century. It's looking like French pieces of the 18th century. The figures are in those long waistcoats of the 1750s. And of course, you know, with the hairstyle and the big and the big gowns and such. Is it marked on the bottom? No markings on the bottom. Really? Can I see the back? Or okay, I'll look at the bottom. Now I'm looking at a mark. You don't see that mark? Is it just oh, it does say, I'm sorry, it does say 1530. Okay, that's a mold number, which indicates the mold itself, right? So there's a number that goes along with the mold that they use in order to mold the ceramic, right? Can I see the back of it? Take your time, take your time. And can you go straight up for me? Okay, telltale sign. So it's it's a it's plugged in, it's a lamp or a light, and then it also has a music box on it. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So now you know that you're looking at the 1920s to the 1940s. Why? The lamp, music box, light situation, putting everything together is very typical of, of course, American manufacturers who are trying to get into the market, of course, of the pre-war market. So you're seeing pieces that are coming in in the 30s and 40s that in fact have all of this going on but a music box and a light and the figurine there's a lot going on hi what's your name hon brooklyn hey brooklyn would you buy this brooklyn no i have something similar but i like the separate pieces better you like separate pieces better brooklyn did you do a video call with me i did a um two week unlimited with you Oh, you did. Okay. So you did the priority ask Dr. Lori service where we did the email. You sub, you uploaded photos. Was it helpful? Yes. It was so helpful. And I, and I still promote you on my YouTube channel, creative uniques as well. Oh, you're so sweet to do that. I appreciate that. I hope it's helpful. I'm glad it's helpful. So you wouldn't buy this, right? So let's go right. back and see what, how much Barb paid for this. How much did you pay for this, sweetie? Seven dollars and fifty cents. Oh well, you did great at this. So for seven dollars and fifty cents, that piece is going to resell just about seventy-five dollars. So you paid ten bucks, ten percent of what it's really valued at. So you did okay. That's amazing. Thank you. Where did where did you buy it? An estate auction. Oh, you told me that. Was it an actual estate auction where you walked in physically there, or was um, it online. an estate auction online? Mm -hmm. Online. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, a lot of folks are buying the stuff online. Then when you go to pick it up, you find other more uh, more things, other things that you find. So I think that's kind of cool too. Before I let you go, uh, will you tell me Chinese food? Do you eat it with a fork, or do you can you handle chopsticks? <laughs> Definitely a fork. I can get more on my fork. Okay, well that's great. Me too. I like to get all the flavors together, so I like a fork. Wow. Good well, great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Dr. Lori. And thanks to all my guests for joining me. I'm Dr. Lori. I'll see you next time.